Nate, Dom, welcome to Fulham, both of you. How does it feel to be here? Yes, uh, it feels great, bro. <laughs> it feels good. <laughs> no, it's a, uh, it's a really. Do you know what we've had a we've had a long day and it's just been been exhausting really. But I think it, it's going to kick in in a second, and um, I'm really happy to be here and happy to be part of the project. With it being this late on deadline day, does that sort of is it? What are the emotions? Is it relief or, like you say, is it going to just? Does it all be tomorrow? It sinks in. Do you think? Yeah. Do you know what? I, I'm not sure. It's just I just know it. You get a lot of emotions going through you during the time. So um, it, it actually hasn't even kicked in yet for me. Like you said, so it'll probably be when I've got everyone flooding my phone with messages and I've got to speak to family and, and all my loved ones. Then it would probably really hit home. Yeah. How are you feeling, Dom? Well, for for me, it's not a, it's not the first time we didn't do it on the last day, so I'm kind of used to it. But I'm nervous because I want it to work, so I'm still waiting. And um, you you've both been at Watford for a few years now. What was it that made you want to come to Fulham now? Um, <clears throat> for me, it was it was more the project and uh, speaking with the manager. Um, obviously, I worked with with the Gaffer at my first year at Watford and um, I always had a good vibe for him and, and um, you know I've, I looked at the team and, and thought we've got a really good squad and we've got potential to, to be back in the Premier League ne uh, next year so that's the target at the minute and it's a project that excited me because you know like I said we've got a really good squad and What attracted you to Fulham Dom? For me probably most, most of the manager yeah, I think he's a good manager. I'm excited to work with him. I'm young, plus I just want to get game time. I want to get me. I want to learn. So yeah, I'm just really excited, and I think they got they got good team to to go back to Premier League. And that's really exciting. Obviously, there's a Portuguese connection. Do, do you actually know Marco, or are you just sort of like you, you know of his work? No, nah, I just know him from his work. Spoke to him a few times, but I don't really know him. But looking forward to working under him. Oh, yeah, really. And they, as you mentioned, you have worked under him. What was that time like when you were working under the game? Yeah, it was brilliant. It was brilliant. Um, he's very hands-on and, and uh, he likes things being done his way. And uh, as a player, you know, when at the time I was quite young and, and I wanted to learn and I'm still the same, really. I still want to learn. I still think I can improve as a player. And, and you know, I started off really well with him and, and unfortunately I had, a, I had an injury. So... I wasn't able to work with him for a while, so um, I think I'm just excited to to be able to. I feel like it's something that started before, and we can try and finish it this time. Yeah. And you guys are really good mates. Um, I'm sure you would have settled very quickly anyway. But does that make the move a bit smoother doing it together? Do you think? Yeah, I wasn't. I wasn't expecting it to be honest, but yeah. since he has now, it's gonna make it a lot easier. A lot easier. Yeah. But I know a few people in the squad anyway, so. Um, I don't think it, the transition will be be too difficult. Which boys do you know? No, a few of them. Um, I know Heki, Michael Hector. I know Bobby, Josh hey. Onoma. Hey. I know, listen, I know I know quite a few of the few of the lads. Um, um, Dennis Odoi, I've, I've met before, and. Tosin, you know, yeah, I've met him you know a few times. Yeah. You know Tosin, right? Yeah, I met him a few times. Yeah, exactly. I think we just there's that mutual respect between everyone when you meet each other. So, but yeah, I'm just looking forward to working with the team. Like I said, I think we've got a really good squad. Yeah, great. And for the Fulham fans who maybe haven't seen that much of you boys, um, how would you describe your game? Me. Both of you. Exciting. Yeah, that was exciting to watch. Yeah. You're the more attacking one of the two, aren't you? Yeah, I let, I let him do the, the running. You, know, I do the you let me do the running? Yeah. That's terrible. I do, I do it sometimes. Okay. <laughs> <I'm joking. laughs> That's more like... <laughs> nah, um, I'm, a, I'm a bit of everything, I think. Uh, just hard work, tackling, passing, hey. defending, heading, attacking, heading, heading whatever. Everything. <laughs> No, I'm just, just. Uh, uh, I, I get asked this question quite often, but I don't really actually know what my, 
my actual strengths are, but um, I'd like to try and bring some leadership into the change room as well, because... Um, you I'm can quite, pass. Yeah, I'm quite... Uh, I'm, you see me now, I'm a bit quiet, but... <laughs> Get you on the pitch. I can be a bit of a hothead, so... Um, yeah, like I said, just to, to bring some, some qualities that I have and, and try and show show the best that I can. Yeah. And you, you know, you spent some time um, in the Fulham Academy, like going going yeah. back some years now. So uh, I don't know how oh, good gosh. your memory is, but what, what do you recall about your time? Well, do I, uh, well, where we're sat right now has changed. Actually, I can't remember if it was like this, it but this it definitely dome. wasn't. It was a round dome. It was a round dome. And that's where I had my first trial and Fulham was the first club I obviously played for. So I was here for a year. Um, yeah, I had some really good memories here because there was a dome inside and there was a dome outside, wasn't there? Right? And that's where that's where I had my trial in here and then we, we had a few games. And I remember, um, obviously, we used to play our games uh, at uh, Cobham. So... Yeah, a lot's changed since I was here last time. Um, just walking around and stuff, I can st still see like the old, the old like shell of the building itself, but everything just looks brand new. So it's, it's really nice. nice. Uh, and what have you guys seen of Fulham so far this season? Of the games? Yeah, yeah. The what games. Yeah, games? I've, we, I've watched a, a few of the games this year. I watched a few of the games. I watched the game against Millwall, who's on telly, um, and I watched the the last game, the home game that, against Stoke. Like I said, the squad looks top and hopefully we can add a little bit more more extra to it and, and everyone can work the towards the, the goal of getting back to the Premier League. Yeah, That's the target, is it? You come here to be in a promoted team. Yeah, yeah for sure. Uh, and you've seen enough, from the games you have seen, the squad you've seen, you think it's a realistic target? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, and, and where do you see yourselves fitting? Obviously, you've spoken of the squad strength. Where do you guys see yourselves fitting into that? No, first of all, we need to need to meet up with the manager and probably train with the team. I'm sure we have to fight to earn a place in the team or some minutes. So, yeah. Now, just excited to meet everyone, start training, and we go from there. I suppose it's quite nice that it's the international break now, so there's a bit of time to sort of gel in um, ahead of that game against Blackpool next week. Yeah, yeah. It gives, it gives us a bit of time to settle down and, and settle in with the squad just to see how things work, because at every club is a little bit different. So um, the focus is now for, is for us to, to adapt. And uh, yeah, I'm just looking forward to it now. I just want to get going. Thanks for your time, boys, and welcome to Fulham.